You've never heard of 1 plus 2 equals paradise. I would venture that a lot of anime fans in Japan have never heard of 1 plus 2 equals paradise. It is a short two episode OVA based on a very, very etchy manga series. So etchy, in fact, that it got into trouble when it was being released in Japan for being um, a bit too etchy. It was actually put on a banned items list and lost its publisher over the controversy. And then another publisher picked it up and finished the, I believe, 10 volume run of the original manga. Basic concept, main character is a teenage boy with gynophobia. He's afraid of women. And the reason is that when he was growing up, when he was a very young child, there were two girls living next to him, same age, and one day they were playing doctor, and they discovered that he had this horrible growth between his legs and offered to cut it off of him. Um, and this, you know, freaked him out, as you can imagine, and so now he is uh, scared of women as a, as a teenager. Uh, whereupon, two lovely women about his age, twins, show up and insist that they're going to be working with his father, a doctor, and um, they also really want to marry him, uh, so they begin living with him, as you do, and whereupon they get into absolutely absurdly etchy scenarios. Um, this is as close as you can get to hentai without actually being hentai, and to a ridiculous degree, not just a comedic degree, but just wow, they went there. So it's that kind of an OVA, and, and that's going to turn off a lot of people, and fair enough. While watching this, I was kind of shocked. I was shocked much of the time, and that is just what you have to live with with an OVA like this. In its defense, if you will, the comedy is always very lighthearted. The etchy elements, I, I should say, are very lighthearted. It is, this, this stuff is meant to make you laugh. And the characters are all equally dumb, right? The girls are, uh, uh, you know, prancing around trying to prove what good wives they are. But meanwhile, the boy is acting completely out of scale of the situations. And the father just has no idea. You know, he's manipulating a lot of uh, things in for completely the wrong reasons. And um, so it is very much an over-the-top comedy, kind of in that Ranma one-half um, mold, or even maybe a, a Ursa Yatsura mold, I think it would be more close, where it's just dumb people doing dumb things, and it's just there to make you laugh. The etchy element is an element you definitely do not want to watch this with, you know, your parents around or with young children around who are not going to understand that, uh, you know, this sexuality is, is meant to be laughed at. Uh, and that's part of the big problem, is that, on the one hand, it's a dumb comedy, and so you're meant to just sit back and relax. On the other hand, there's so much underwear and partial nudity, and because it's an OVA, they can show pretty much everything, uh, that you can't really relax while watching this show, unless there's nobody else in the house. It's just so out there, it's kind of hard to enjoy. Um, because in a sense, it's kind of like a horror movie that's just trying to shock you the entire time, where there's just kind of gore being thrown at you every five seconds. There comes a point where it's just gore. Uh, the nudity and sexuality in this becomes such a running gag that it's... Uh, it ceases to be very funny, and they keep trying to one-up themselves. Uh, and unless you have a pretty puerile imagination, um, there's only so far that joke goes. Now, in, def in their defense, they kind of build up to a ridiculous point at the end of episode one and to an even more ridiculous point at the end of episode two, and they manage to do that. Um, but I would not watch any more of this OVA if there was any more of it. It's just, you know, this is the joke. Dumb people, you know, end up half-dressed with each other, and that's the entire thing. You know, the the uh, the boy is horrified. The girls just kind of sit there and stand there and blink uh, or try to, you know, make things better and fall all over themselves. It's just kind of gag after gag. Uh, the animation quality is certainly there. There's a fair amount of, of movement. There's actually quite a lot of movement, which is helpful. I think this was made in... 
I'm going to say the early 80s. I can't quite remember. Could be late 80s. And I enjoyed the the movement of the characters. I enjoyed the character designs of the characters there. Kind of classic, you know, straightforward 80s character designs. Um, pretty, but fairly interchangeable. And... <sighs> Yeah, music's nice. Voice acting is a little grating at times, to be honest. I found the voice acting to, or the voice actors were generally going a little more over the top than I would like for the characters. I mean, it is an over the top show, but there there are limits. And, you know, it's a sex comedy, and th that is hard to do well. And this does it in a way that is, granted, the right length for a short OVA. You can kind of get your, your get your, You'll laugh for a bit, and you'll get it out of your system, and then you can move on. Um, it is fun. If you can f uh, find a copy, it has been fan-subbed. certainly has not been officially licensed and released over here in America that I know of. Um, it kind of, as far as I know, kind of came out and then disappeared, even in Japan. Um, so if you stumble across it, you will find something that will tickle your funny bone, probably. Um, will not make certain members of the opposite sex very... Um, happy with you necessarily, uh, but it's all in good fun, and it is quite ridiculous in that very anime way. So I can't fault it too much. You know, I came in here kind of complaining about it, but th the more I think about it, the more I I did laugh. I, I did find it cute, straight up, and I found the characters to be not relatable at all, but good stereotypes, right, where they do what they need to do to accomplish their role in the story, and they're varied enough, there's enough going on there to um, keep the story reasonably fresh over the course of its very brief running time. So it's definitely an interesting one, it's an odd one, again, hard to find, good luck to, in finding it, but, you know, these things are out there. Uh, and I hope that if you do find it, you will approach it with appropriate caution.